Lesson 18, Computer-Based Learning. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify the role computers play in aiding learning. Whatever gadget or device you are using to view this lesson, you are actually experiencing computer-based learning right now. All graphics, animations, text, sound, and other parts of this lesson were created and produced using computer systems. Above all, if you are watching this lesson online, you are currently connected to a network of computers that are enabling you to view the lesson. This lesson will discuss how computers are used in formal education and training. The outbreak of COVID-19 has contributed to the rise of electronic or e-learning systems among institutions of learning in Zambia. This type of learning involves distance learning using the internet. Many universities and colleges from around the world conduct online programs and courses using computer systems. In Zambia, almost all major universities are offering online diploma and degree level programs. In this kind of learning, a student can use computer systems to pay tuition fees, register, take classes, submit assignments, and write exams. Lecturers can also deliver their lessons, mark assignments, record and store students' progress charts using computer systems. After completing school, people choose different careers like medicine, aviation engineering, teaching, and others choose to be pilots. Most companies have some specific training for their employees. An example of such a company is Toyota Zambia, which trains its own mechanics. Other companies have computer-based training programs for their new workers. With the availability of YouTube, Rambo, and other web-based video platforms, it is easier for anyone to train themselves on how to do particular jobs by watching step-by-step -step tutorials online. These are some of the ways in which computer systems are used in career training. In education industry, computers and other related media and devices are also used as communication, teaching, and learning aids. Devices like smartphones, tablets, and personal computers are used for video conferencing. Video conferencing is a communication technology that uses video and sound over the internet. Examples of this technology are Skype, Zoom, Google Meet, in dual platforms. Computers are also used in computer labs in institutions of learning for research, data collection, and storage of important information. Lastly, computers are also used with projectors by teachers and learners to do presentations.
Revision exercise. Explain how computers are used in education and training, giving practical examples. Summary. In this lesson, you learned that computers are used in education industry for online learning and training, communication, research, as teaching and learning aids, and for recording and storing information.